Santosh Kumar. I'm from NXP Semiconductors. I have an overall of five plus years of experience. Uh, my roles and responsibilities are, I take care of timing closure, constraints development, and physical design. Since we work on ultra low power designs, we are varying across multiple voltages and multiple power domains. In STA sign off, it becomes a challenge in covering all the modes and, corner, uh, modes and corners. So when you have a concurrent or distributed, it becomes an easier for an ST engineer to consolidate all your modes and corners across the views and analyze your timing sign off. The major challenges what we face in our design is, since we work on ultra low power designs, we have a large number of sign off corners to sign off. Since we, it is a, a multi power and multi voltage domains, we have a large number of sign off corners due to which uh, the consolidation of a timing reports across multiple voltage domains and multiple power domains becomes a challenging issue. The cadence concurrent and distributed MMMC STF flow gives us the flexibility of consolidating all the reports in one go and also makes an STA engineer uh, work easy. And this gives an STA engineer to consolidate all the timing reports in one go. So, uh, can, uh, Cadence con concurrent plus DMMC STF flow gives us the flexibility of consolidating the timing across all the corners in one go, which makes the STA engineer's job easy. CMMMC, that is concurrent multi mode multi corner, it can be used when we have a block level runs, since, since where there is a no impact on your run times. Whereas in the distributed MMMC, it can be used for the top level where you have hundreds of uh, timing views for your sign off so that the results would be available at quick time and also easy for the engineer to consolidate all the reports in one go and the analysis becomes easier. Based on the user requirement as well as the infrastructure available, a designer can choose either a concurrent or a distributed. Also, there is a provision in the Tempest flow where we can combine concurrent plus DMMC STF flow where we can achieve uh, both in terms of runtimes as well as your performance.